Hi Aries, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, honey. It is always a blessing to have you back here. Today's reading is all about you. You know you're a diamond. Please go ahead and shine beautiful and bright like the diamond. That you so are. Now, please, my darling Aries, know that if this reading does not resonate to your present situation, please do not get her offended or in your feelings. It only simply means here that the reading today is not for you, okay? However, if you choose to come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe and turn your post notification on so that way you will always be the first to be notified each and every single time that I do upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up for me because once you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see in fact that you do like the videos and they will push the videos out in a much wider audience. The channel will grow, the video will also grow. We want to grow here, right? All right, so before I get into your reading, I'm going to get into a quick, a quick prayer because we do pray here on this channel. And Aries, this is going to be your mega read, all right? Your girl is trying to bring you these long ones because you have requested that I do long readings for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do a mega, a mega for y'all, all right? So let me get this card together. All right, y'all, let's uh, pray. I mean, Father, as I go along my day, I said you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and I do give you all the praises in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And y'all, you're going to hear my dog barking because there's someone coming in the house. He just saw a car pull up. And someone is coming in, so already he's getting handsy, okay? So just listen for the bark anytime soon. All right. All right, y'all. Also know that this reading will not resonate for every single one of you. Take from this reading what resonates and leave the rest for me. Um, it could go for your person. Your person is a person who we're thinking about right now. Also, it could go for the cross watchers who are watching, Okay. If you do need to have a personal reading, just go ahead and, and check the description part of this video and you'll see exactly how to connect with me to have um, a personal reading done, okay? Very, very simple. Um, I'm still in, um, celebrating my birthday, y'all, okay? My birthday is not ending until the end of this month. Um, I have another little getaway um, for this weekend, y'all. So I'm going to do my best to bring you some more readings of course you might not even realize that I'm on another a little, little vacay but y'all y'all might suspect the background might be a little different all right y'all I'm gonna go ahead and just um ask the angels to come through for me I'm gonna ask for four angels and have them come through and help me with this one and this is your mega read so angels let's get to work please for Aries um let me have four angels please angels please some of your placement in line and your purpose, please. Please send me your purpose. And your number in line, please. Your purpose and your number in line. Okay. The ninth angel in line is the number nine. Okay. Um, it's an angel of determination here. Angel of determination. All right. Angels of Determination. All right, let me have the second angel, please. Second angel, what is your number in line, please? And your purpose, number 13. 13th angel in line. And this is the angel of gratitude, okay? Angel of gratitude. Ooh. And the third angel in line is angel number 20, 27, angel of procrastination. Thank you. We have one more angel, please. The fourth angel. Number 16, angel of health. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and post some messages here. 
Let's see what angels wants to come through. And then I'll go ahead and pull from the tarot as well. Thank you, angels. The angel of health, angel of procrastination, angel of gratitude, and angel of determination. Number nine, number 13, number 27, and 16. All right, y'all. They put a curse on me after I ate the food. My mind is messed up ever since, and I need help. Okay. Messages, please. cheated on you with so many people can you trust me all right angels let me have some messages here for Aries person what are they thinking past present or future person please messages please for Aries person past present or future what are they thinking I sh I'm sure you don't want me back, even if I beg up to return. I know you can do better with someone else. Messages, please. I'm getting my friends and family walked away because I wanted to be with you. Let's just please. I just can't support you the way you want me to, but I love you. All right. Two more messages, please. Angel of procrastination, angel of gratitude, angel of health, and angel of determination. You owe it to yourself to commit and do the right thing for this to work. Okay. I'm committed to work harder for myself since you left me for them okay we have two more please two more messages here please angels if i come back to you would you let me be me And let's do one more. And if Angel wants me to pull more through, I will do just that. Am that good for you? I'm so scared to reach out to you, but I won't make a, a promise I just can't keep. All right? So that is the tent cart. All right. The very first one that came through, y'all, they put a curse on me, and me after I ate the food. That's what someone is saying here. My mind is messed up ever since, and someone needs help here, right? Someone feel like something must have been done. Uh, maybe they're having signs and symptoms here, okay? Someone got themselves into a very sticky situation. Here's what I'm seeing here. I see cheating coming through here. I cheated on you. To, I'm cheated on you with so many people, and I can't, and I can't trust you. So someone is having a hard time trusting here as well. Okay, person saying, "Can you trust me?" I feel like this situation here. Someone already knows about this cheating situation here. Your person is saying. If we even try to connect, even we try to work things through, to work this out, can you find it in your heart to forgive and to forget? And I'm feeling like someone is having a difficult time here. 
letting go of the past is what I'm feeling here, y'all. Okay. Someone's having a hard time letting go of the past. And I feel like your person probably already picked that up that you're having a hard time letting go or this could go in the reverse. Okay, I'm getting you. Know, I'm sure you don't want me back. Okay, so we know that the your person and yourself is definitely in separation here about a cheating situation. So I'm just saying, I'm sure you don't want me back, even if I beg up to return. All right, so someone is saying, even if they beg, maybe you don't want them to come back because of a trust issue. Trust issue that is coming in here. I know you can do better with someone else. So your person is saying that they know without a doubt that you definitely can, is what I'm feeling here. Do better, okay? With someone else is what I'm feeling here. Someone is definitely trying to... Um, make this situation a work. Someone is definitely not giving up. Someone is hoping here is what I'm feeling here. Um, I'm also getting here for some of you. My friends and family walked away because I wanted to be with you. So I'm feeling here that there might have been a situation. This could be yourself. This could be your person. But someone is saying that friends and family weren't there. I'm mean, feeling like for some of you, maybe your family wasn't happy with the situation has is maybe they feel that they um, this person could have done better maybe someone was giving them reason to be feel negative towards them but i do see a sense of conflicts coming up um and situation and, and decisions that's need to be made here i'm also getting here i just can't support you the way that you want me to but i love you so i feel like your person really does love you um, but maybe the support is what I'm feeling is not really there, not really connecting. Um, I'm also feeling that maybe this could be, your, if this is not your person, this could be your energy saying that your family maybe not, um, and friends maybe not accepting, maybe getting ready to walk away, decision making time on your end here. But I do feel a sense like, okay, I do love you. I do want to be with you, but I feel like I've messed up big time. Um, is there any way that you could forgive and forget and learn to trust again and have this work here? But I do feel like there might be people involved, um, people having their two cents in, in two people's relationship here. Not really allowing the other people to have um, a voice is what I'm feeling here. I'm not really allowing that person to make the decision on their own. But they just saying that you need, to, you owe it to yourself to commit and to do the right thing. For this to work so i feel like maybe um someone needs to be committed here if this is your person you know your person might have to put the work in because trust was broken here but i do feel that this, this is your energy you might also have to be committed to the right thing and to what it is that you need to have this relationship work because i do feel like two people really do love each other here two people are trying to commit um and to be reserved into each other here but i do feel friends and family make um, create an issue here with this connection here it's so once again saying that i am committed to work harder for myself so this could be your person's energy this could also be your energy here saying that you are committed you want to be committed you want to put the hard work in someone wants to put the hard work in um but it, i feel like someone is putting even harder energy harder work into the separation um to return okay someone is saying that i'm putting a harder work into myself since you left so this could be um your energy if your person left you this is your energy and if you left a person this is your person's energy angels of procrastination um determination gratitude and health okay now i'm also getting here i'm not good for you someone is saying that i'm not good for you even though i know i did what you did i still want to be with you but i know deep in my heart that i'm not good enough for you um Someone is saying that I'm so scared to reach out. So this could be your person energy that's trying to reach out, that wants to reach out, but they're very afraid because they know that they messed up big time cheating um, and trying to regain this trust again with you, okay? I do feel a sense that um, this person said, but I want, I won't make a promise. So even though this person wants to come back, uh, I feel like they're ready to set in an apology in place, but I feel like this person still has... Um, a need to uh, let's just say kind of heal from what it is that they have done and to make sure that whenever they return this is what they want to do this is what they want to do and this is where they want to be this is your place a placement in your life so this person is genuinely saying here 
I want to come back, I, but I don't want to make a 100% promise to you that I can't keep. So this person, I feel like is coming towards you here, angels of determination, okay? They're coming towards you, all right? Is what I'm seeing here. They're definitely coming towards you here, but they're coming towards you at a very slow pace here. I feel like angels are definitely making sure that when this person comes towards you, they're coming towards you with um positive approach, okay? Um, because they're de they're definitely not um a hundred a hundred percent ready to uh, commit. Um, I do feel at the same time because angels get, did give me the the number thirteen, the gratitude angel of gratitude did say that you have to find compassion within yourself and be mindful mindfulness. Um, forgiveness is what they're saying to achieve the abundance is what I feel for the peace that you so need. I feel like um, your person did kind of have some kind of a selfishness or so showed selfish towards you. But I do also feel gratitude as well that is um, manifesting in your life. I feel like though you have to tap into your purpose as well. Because angels did give me this card here. And I'm getting, ah, uh, if I come back to you, would you let me be me? So this person know that they do have flaws here. I see flaws coming in here, right? Um, and they know that. Right, um, procrastination. All right, they do know that they have their flaws here and they fault, but they want to know if once they come back, if you allow them to be themselves. I feel like they're feeling like, okay, um, you didn't really give me a hundred percent, just let me be myself. Maybe they're saying that they were walking on eggshells or something like that, um, and they just want to be having a, a way how to approach situation. I feel like there's been a lot of conflicts and bickering here. And people kind of connecting the dots. Here's what I'm feeling here. Your person wants to come back. They want to return. They want to um, be forgiven is what I'm feeling. But someone is definitely on the fence off as far as forgiving the situation here. Um, but your person is willing and ready and hoping. And I feel like there's someone that's really having a hard time um, letting go here. A very hard time letting go here is what I'm feeling. Very, very hard time. Let me put some more messages here, y'all. I'm getting... There's more messages that needs to come in. Angel of Determination, number nine. Angel of Gratitude, uh, number 13. Angel of Procrastination, number 27. Um, Angel of Health, number 16. What are the messages here, please? I'm getting maybe one day we can be together. I know you watch my social media. Okay. I do miss you. But we always fuss and fight. I can't live this way. All right. Oh, wow. I already knew something was going to come through, y'all. I felt that. All right. Let me have two more cards here, please. And then I'm um pull the tarot out. Let me have two more cards here, please. Angels, let me have two more cards here, please. What are the messages here, please, for Aries, please? Okay. They just gave me three cards, so you'll pull those through. All right. You are so sexy to me. I mess up everything we built. That's what I got here. I'm coming back. Just give me a little time to get things right. Okay. I was um intimate. I was intimate with someone you know. I played myself, so I had to leave you alone. All right. Let's talk about these because angels insisted that these cards came through. So we're going to get into these cards, y'all. Let's talk about these five cards here. All right, the first one that came through was maybe maybe one day we can be together. I know you watch my social media, so I feel like your person is saying here, this could be your sub, this could be your person, this could be your cross, the cross watcher, but someone is saying maybe one day we definitely can be together here. Maybe not right now. Maybe someone is feeling like, okay, maybe you still have some... Some stuff to prove. I have to wait and watch how things kind of pan out before I make a decision of trying 
Um, again, is what I'm feeling here. I know you watch my social media, so someone's definitely keeping a close eye here, watching um, to see what you what you're what you're doing. Uh, maybe this person is even calling from different numbers. You don't know who that is. Those late night call, drop calls, unknown numbers that you have no idea who they are. I feel this person is watching. Okay, they're definitely watching here. Now I'm also getting I do miss you, but we always fuss and we always fight. I can't live this way. So this could be your energy, okay? Um, this could be both of y'all's energy. Um, that's pulling back. If this is your person's energy, your person already walked out because they feel overwhelmed here. I did get a sense of overwhelmed earlier from your person. All right, asking if they come back, if you will allow them to be themselves, okay? But I'm also feeling if this is you, you're definitely not wanting to give a second chance. This is why you're finding it so difficult to open your heart and to allow this person to come in. Because I did feel in the gratitude, the angel of gratitude, this kind of have me feel a sense of... Um, forgiveness here uh, maybe your person was definitely self self selfless okay um and peace is what you need an abundance of peace so someone is definitely saying i can't live like this i prefer to just not live like this fussing and fighting and carrying on is what i'm feeling here not seeing eye to eye it's like um a little bit of burden if, if, if that makes any sense to some of you aries now i'm also getting here i'm coming back just give me a little bit more time to get things right so okay so like i said before a lot of you your person yourself is definitely in separation here all right that's without a doubt but your person wants you to know that they are definitely coming back um and they want to come back um but they have things they have to work on themselves because they know if they come back to you the way things are right now it's not going to work they already know that angel of procrastination is already putting a hold on that return at this particular moment um someone is definitely trying to find their way back okay someone is definitely finding their way back and they want time to heal from those um, feelings. I feel like your folks, some of you, your person might have an addiction here, um, ad addiction, a sexual addiction here. Uh, for some of you, your person may have a drug addiction here, but I do feel a sense of addiction coming in here. And I feel like your person is trying to fix those things before they come towards you, even though they wish that they could right now, but they know it in their heart that they have to work on those uh, problems, those situations. Okay. I'm also getting here. You are so sexy to me. I mess up everything we uh, built. All right. So your person is saying there's no for a doubt that it wasn't a sense of why they did what they did that you weren't sexually attracted to. They weren't sexually attracted to you. It's just that it was an ego situation, a, a sense of selfishness. Okay. Why they did what they did and they truly want you to forgive them. Angel of gratitude is giving me forgiveness. It was giving me forgiveness. This is what your per person is yearning. A sense of mindfulness okay they want to show the compassion towards you and they're hoping that you will give them that in return here everything we build has been lost because of a mistake that i've made is what i'm feeling here um this is uh cheating on you all right shouldn't happen is what your person is saying they know that it shouldn't happen you did not deserve to be treated that way i was intimate with someone you know there you go they're saying that they were intimate with someone that you might have known. I played myself, so I had to leave you alone. They're saying that they, they played themselves. They played themselves big time. It should have never happened. Um, uh, the situation was cold, cold-blooded. All right. Um, they wish that they could take it all back. Um, they wish they could go back in the reverse. Um, they wish that they could um find a way to start over right they wish that they would have treated you a lot better they wish that they weren't tempted here um your person i feel like the energy is coming where they feel with remorse here strong strong remorse here um they know that right now it's going to take hard work all right it's going to take determination on their part the angel 
of determination did come through the number nine, okay? And they're saying that their person already know it's going to take great determination on their part because they know in order for you to give them another chance, they definitely have to find a way to heal their need, their lust. The thing that had really broken the relationship apart um, is what they're hoping the change will be, okay? But I do see a sense of they're really sorry about this situation. They're saying that this should not happen. It should not happen regardless it was with someone you know or not. Um, it should have never happened. You know what I mean? Um, they wish that they could go back. Um, and change those things here. However, um, they're saying that it's hard to change, to make a change. They could only hope and pray that you will find it in your heart uh, to forgive the situation here. Um, I'm seeing uh, money issues as well. I'm feeling money issues here as well. Let me go ahead and pull some messages from here, y'all. I'm getting something coming through here. All right. What do you um, want me to share, angels, here? Angels of procrastination, angel of gratitude, determination, and health. And health. What is the message here for Aries, please? What are the messages here for Aries, please? Okay. I'm getting commitment here. Okay. Authority. Distress, compassion, hmm. doubt, messages please, corruption, I'm getting vanity, I'm also getting jealousy here. Someone walked away. I'm getting faith here. We have one more, please. Stop searching. All right. All right. Let's talk about it, y'all. I'm getting commitment is what you need at all costs. Um, if you're not going to get this commitment, then you don't want to go back and just saying that. Make sure that if you do plan to return to this person here, your person. This is what they're going to have to give, okay? The commitment. I feel like you've already had your fair share of feeling or being distressed or being in a distressful situation here. They also say that you need to take the authority, okay? You have to take the authority. The compassion already came through before with angel number 13 in line. Gratitude gave me compassion here. Um, so compassion is the number one on your list here. Don't walk in doubt any, anymore, all right? Don't walk in vanity or things of of things that doesn't mean anything that's going to make you happy. It's not going to make you happy, okay? I'm also getting fate. It's coming through very strong here. Your fate might have already been tested, of course. Um, you have to tap into your fate. It's going to bring and manifest things that you need. All right. I see people walking away. I see jealousy coming through here. I'm seeing corrupt coming through. I'm feeling negative energy. All right. That's coming through towards you and your person. Very negative. Just stop searching for answers. Okay. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition is what angels are saying that you need to be doing. That's all that you need to be doing is trusting uh, your intuition here. Your intuition. Angels are saying that it speaks to you uh, pretty loud here. Loud and clear. Um don't need to search anymore you just have to be determined here angel number nine you have to be determined here and show gratitude for what you have their placement what they have placed you with and know your purpose here abundance is coming towards you for the peace that uh, you so need is what angels are saying here okay all right angels let me have some messages here please Messages here, please. What are the messages here, please? Okay. All right, y'all. I'm getting the strength card here in the reverse. Okay.
We'll get the five of cups also in the reverse. Wow, wow, whoa. The seven of sword in the reverse. The four of cups in the reverse. The queen of swords here. The magician in the reverse. The moon card here. The elephant here also being in the reverse. Ten of cups. In the reverse and the two of cups also being here in the reverse y'all you know what let me go ahead and fill the space up let me have some more messages here please what are the messages here please angels what are the messages here please for eeries please what are the messages here for you please all right the full card. Okay. And the two of wands here, y'all. The two of wands is here. All right. In the back of your deck, I'm getting the king of sword. I'm feeling like there's something that has been blocked here. Okay. Something has been blocked. There's a situation that has been blocked towards you, okay? I see energy being blocked here. Now, the strength card being here in the reverse is letting me know that there's definitely no confidence. This situation that has been blocked here, um, the energy has been blocked, okay? I'm getting there's no confidence. Your person has no confidence right now. Um, only because they did what they did, okay? Um, I feel they may be feeling embarrassed, ashamed here. Um, maybe for some of you, it, it, with your energy being in the reverse, your your family and friends have already put a damper into your person's coming back towards you, all right? Um, but they're feeling a sense of embarrassment, okay? Is what they're feeling for what has been done in the in the in the strength card being here in the reverse. Now I'm also getting the five of cups here. The five of cups is telling me that you might have wanted an abundance with this person, okay? Um, an abundance in the sense of you wanted to grow with this person. Uh, you wanted to share a part your purpose with this person, okay? Um, but this relationship is calling very strongly and very harshly for forgiveness. And I'm feeling like with a five of cup being here, someone is having a really difficult time connecting to this forgiveness um, with their person here. Very, very hard time, right? And the, the, the true fact is that this person might have a bond in you. They probably walked out on you because this, the cheating thing did come up. Um, I feel this person was definitely distracted here and it caused separation here, okay? Because two people is definitely not together at this particular moment. Seven of Swords here. Um, I feel like you're either ready to make a decision for yourself. Um, your person, on the other hand, it's not like they're ready to make a decision. It's that they're ready to make a choice um, from everything that had happened between the two of you, okay? And I'm also getting... Um, you might have permanently moved on from this relationship if this relationship is one of the past. Um, if it's one that is currently in effect, you're thinking about moving on. If it's one that is to come, it's going to happen eventually, okay? But someone here in the Four of Cups is definitely planning or, or thinking of something about moving on. Um, or have already moved on, okay? Um, angels are saying for some of you though, um, uh, because the Queen of Swords is here, and then the strength card is also here in the reverse. Is let me know that for some of you, you definitely need to move forward, okay? Moving forward is what you need to be doing for some of you. Because this relationship, the magician being right next to the queen of swords, is let me know that this relationship, this person is very destructive. They must have been very destructive towards you or past, present, or future, right? Just take whatever resonates. But I feel like this person is in a destructive mode, was in a destructive mode, presently is one, or about to be one, okay? 
Now, I'm also feeling here with the moon card being here, them being destructive here in the magician also being in the reverse. I see circuits. They must have not told you everything. I feel that some of you, this person might have told you what you really wanted to hear and not you really wanted to know, okay? I do see a sense of betrayal. It already came up here. All that came up here already. Um, and it did show up here. Um, betrayal, okay? It did show up here. Um, I'm getting... You don't need to share anything else right now. Um, for some of you, you might still be having a sexual connection with this person. Okay. Um, I feel like you need to put that sexual connection on hold because your person did say they find you very sexy. Okay. I feel like it's time that you kind of put that on hold and have this person reminisce um, into themselves and what they really truly want and what their true intentions is coming towards you only with positivity and abundance here. Okay. Now, I'm also feeling in the, um, the elephant here being in the reverse is let me know that there's definitely no trust. I already got the no trust here and I got the no trust on the other end as well. This is just my confirmation to let me know that there's definitely no trust between you and this person. Now, you don't trust this person with a long straw because of what they did. This trust, this trust has been ruined. M-I-A to the A. Now, I'm also getting the two of wands here. The full card being here, the two of cups in the reverse, and the ten of cups here also being in the reverse. Now, I feel like because you have been through it all, done it all with this person, with this energy here, I feel now it's time that you take the step. Now, taking the step is taking the step either backward or forward, okay? You either want to move on from the situation at hand, or you want to try to fix it, stay in it, and make it work, all right? Just find it in your heart um, to forgive this person because I do see love coming in towards you and this energy. There's still love there for some of you. Now, this person is definitely thinking about coming back. They do want to come back. They do want to um, say they're sorry, okay? They do want to come in with a solid apology. But remember, your person did say they want to come back, but they don't want to make a promise that they can't keep. So you have to not share anything with this person as far as on a sexual level. Even anything more on a mental level. You want to make sure that you hold off on doing such a, uh, such uh, movements as that. Now, forgiveness, on the other hand, is a slow process, but it's going to help you to heal either way. Even if you decide to not be with your person, you still want to be able to forgive because it's going to help you to heal, to move on to bigger things, okay? So healing is a must, and forgiveness is where you start. Now, I'm also getting separation is coming through. You're definitely separated. Someone is in separation right now with this person. Um, and if you're not already, someone is either thinking that separation, want that separation, but there's definitely separation energy coming towards a lot of you. Now, the Ten of Cups is here. And it's letting me know that because of this separation, someone, someone made a choice, all right? With this separation to happen the way it did, Someone did make a choice here and end everything. And this is your person's energy that decided to make this happen because of a cheating situation, okay? Someone ended the dream here. Someone put an end to it. That's totally just put an end to it. But the problem is here is that, yeah, somebody ended it. Somebody ended the, ended it. It was cold. It was very cold, and the way that they ended it was very cold is what I'm seeing here, okay? Queen of Wands, very cold, the way that they did it, okay? Um, it, There was no much warning. There was no much warning. Yeah, but they're still staying, watching you, and, and staying in their feelings, so, yeah. I am getting the constant conflicts here. I'm, I'm getting that that could definitely be... um family and friends energy that's coming in towards you with these constant conflicts here. Um, someone is definitely not wanting you to make amends with this person. Uh, making the relationship work is what I'm feeling here. We have some more messages here, please. Angels. All right. All right. Okay. So you're definitely not happy right now, okay? You're not unhappy. You're definitely not feeling happy right now the way things are. Okay. Okay. All right, so I feel like it's time that you either make a choice, like I said before. I already saw that there. 
make a choice and walk away from it. I feel like you're going to be healed either way. All right. I feel healing coming through the eight of cups here. Um, also start to invest into what you need. This is a perfect time to do that. Uh, making your money. You've had your fair share of hardship here. Right. I feel like you don't need to be distracted as far as making your money is concerned. It's time to do just that. Right. I feel like there's some things that set out for you right now that you're going to have to face on your own. For some of you, it's a, it's a blessing in disguise that you found yourself separated from your person. It kind of brought you to a place that you see your potential within yourself and the things that you could manifest alone. Um, this time for yourself was needed is what I'm feeling for some of you. You might feel like, oh my goodness, um, why does this shit happen? Why am I feeling, why am I, is my person not with me? But angels are saying that you needed to go through this phase right now because you was maybe too dependent on this person. It's time that you be determined for the things that you want and grasp those things, okay? Um, Aries, that is your reading for today, honey. I hope that it did resonate with you. Um, I would have done it a little bit longer, but my battery is about to die. I'm going to do another mega one after this, though, because I see that y'all love these mega ones, these readings. So your girl is coming back with another mega reading after this. I'm going to go ahead and charge up this battery and do another mega reading for y'all. Now, please don't forget to thumbs up the videos, y'all, because it does help the channel to grow, honey. So go ahead and give your girl some L to the O to the V to the E, honey. Thumbs up the videos. Um, I love you guys. You guys rock. Don't forget to pray because prayer does work. But most of all, always remember to seek first and you will always find.